This question comes from Victor on Facebook. I don't want to mention his last name because I didn't ask him permission to use his last name. But, um, so the question is, what do I use to invest in stocks or buy stocks? Uh, you know, how do you set up a trading account? How do you actually buy a stock? He actually asked a few questions there. So, I'm going to kind of answer that. And I just want to say, as you know, I've been promoting this lately. Uh, my stock market mastery program is in the link in the description below. It'll take you from knowing nothing about the stock market to actually showing you how to set up an account and make trades. And uh, if you're a beginner or even intermediate, it's for you. It'll help you learn a lot. It's really cheap compared to the other ones out there. And uh, I wish I would have bought it. Hopefully, uh, it'll definitely, well, hopefully, it'll definitely be, uh, be worth whatever you pay for it if you would do up. If you do invest in stocks, it'll increase your ROI, your ROI, and it'll prevent you from losing money. And it'll help you gain money. So anyways, what do I use to invest in stocks? So I guess I'll be flat out with it. I use this program called, uh, uh, it's called TD Web Broker, but the American version is TD Ameritrade. Ameritrade. So, anyways, I pretty much use, yeah, TD Ameritrade to trade stocks. It's an online brokerage. I'm going to kind of go through all these steps here. So, I'll, first I'll go through how, you know, he asked me how do you set up a trading account. So, I'll just kind of go through the steps here. In my program, I actually, like, show you physically, like, sites to go to and filling out forms and all this stuff. Um, and it makes it really easy. But I'll just kind of go through a quick example here. So... Um, do, 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 do. So first, the very first thing you have to, very first thing you have to do is pick an online brokerage. So pick a brokerage. So you can you have to find yours. Uh, brokerages have different fees. They vary by country to country. So someone in Australia is going to have a different, different selection of brokerages than someone in Canada, and they're going to have different ones from someone in America and Mexico and all that. So first you got to pick an online brokerage. The next thing you have to do is, well, you obviously have to register. <laughs> you have to register for, the, for an account, for a brokerage account, for a trading account. So you go to this online brokerage's website and then you got to go register. Uh, register. And yeah, you have to, it'll be a long process actually. You might have to type in your banking information and stuff too. It all depends. So register for a trading account with the brokerage. That's the next step. Good. So let's just see right after that. Oh yeah, obviously the next thing you have to do. So you've, you've picked a brokerage, you registered your trading account. It got approved. You filled out all the forms. Next thing you have to do is put money into the account. If it's not attached to your bank, bank account, you have to put money in, although you have to put money in anyways. So uh, put money into account. So I, as I always recommend, $500 minimum, minimum $500 per trade. It makes uh, your return on investment a lot better because uh, there's fees every time you trade, right? It's about $10. $10. So make sure you transfer money into your account and then the next thing you gotta do is you gotta do some research if you want. You gotta research the stocks. There's lots of things you can do I mean, uh, I give a lot of tips in my program in, in depth and I show you how to use all the online tools available, but uh, you can use just charts. A lot of these brokerages will give you a lot of tools, so they'll give you a lot of charts to look at, um, a lot of tables to look at. They'll give you a stock screener so you can physically filter out stocks that suit your, um, your investment style. So I like high dividend stocks. You can screen out stocks that only pay 5% or more dividend or 4% or more dividend, uh, along with a bunch of other things too. So stock screeners, they help too. I do a tutorial on that in my program. Um, anyways, let's see here. So you do your research and you're comfortable with the stock you want to invest in. So you want to invest in an ETF or something like that. The next thing you need to do is physically go to the site and buy the stock. So you have to type in the symbol. You got to type in the symbol for whatever stock you want to buy. So uh, like Apple's is APPL or AAPL or something like that. Coke's is KO. Um, 
you know, you have to go and type in the symbol. Say you want to buy nine stocks, you buy nine of them. Uh, you buy 10, you buy 11, buy 12, whatever. You buy the stocks and then you have to wait. The next step is wait. This, so it could take, I don't know, uh, it could take two full business days for the trade to fully go through. Usually it takes a couple hours for the trade to go through. Sometimes now it's automatic if there's a lot of volume being pumped out, a lot of volatility. So it depends. You have to wait and then uh, usually after two days, everything will be settled or two or three days and then you own the stock and it's in your portfolio. And it's really that simple. Account, set up your, pick a brokerage, register an account, transfer money, research stocks, buy the stock and then wait. That's really all there is to it. I mean, and then you sell it when you want, you sell it the exact same way as you buy it. You just type in the stock, click sell and then you're good. Um, so how do I buy stocks? Like what's my kind of style? I just, to be honest, I look, just look at high dividend stocks. I look at companies I know that have been around a long time and that's really what I do. I just, I look at some charts, make sure that they've had good growth over the last five years, six years, make sure that they could be somewhat recession proof. That's about it. I mean, I give a lot more information. I go really in depth to like my actual, like what I specifically I look for in stocks in my program, but that's just kind of a general overview. I don't go into like, I, I don't do too much research. Like a lot of the, uh, a lot of the experts will tell you to do going into like earnings per share and, uh, earn, well, I go, I look at earnings growth a little bit, but I don't go into like, I don't know, how well the company's managed and whether that they're super duper undervalued and whether there's some hidden stuff I could find. I don't know. I just, it's really easy for me. By the time I start researching a stock to the time I buy it, I mean, it's, it's generally like an hour at most, at most. Usually I kind of know what I'm going to buy before I buy it to, before I research it. I mean, I only buy, you know, big companies that I know are going to do well. Although, I guess occasionally I try to hit a home run. I shouldn't say that. I mean, 20% of the time I do invest in stocks that I've never heard of. So I guess it all depends. I have a big strategy. I go over it in my program, but I've been promoting that so much lately. I'm sorry. I'm not one of those sales guys, which is really weird. I just, uh, it's kind of, it was at the request, request of you guys that you guys wanted me to make a program. And I was like, yeah, this is cool. I kind of like it. I'm kind of proud that I actually put something like that together. And it's not just me like, you know, talking like this off cuff, like I do in my videos. So I think that's going to wrap it up. That's kind of how I invest in stocks. I just use TD Web Broker and I taught you how to set up a trading account, although I physically show you in my thing. But, uh, and that's how you buy a stock. It's really that simple. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.